Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, much appreciated. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through the quick process of deploying an app uh, with Firebase. And it's extremely easy. And basically you can create an app or a website or anything really and deploy it on Firebase and Firebase will host it for you for free. Now, of course, there's some limitations. Um, it goes by reads and writes. So if, you know, uh, for Firebase, you basically can host it for free. Uh, but if you suddenly got a bunch of people using it and writing to the database and reading the database and using it on a regular basis, they're going to start to charge you for it. But if you're a uh, beginner in coding and you need some portfolio projects and stuff like that, maybe you want to help out a local business that you know is not going to take up that much space, um, then this is perfect and it'll basically be for free. Um, and it has a lot of features. Uh, I have some other Firebase videos uh, to, to sort of get you um, some other ideas. I do full projects, uh, so I will leave those linked in the description. But um, So today I'm just going to show you how to deploy the app. Um, so basically we're going to take a an app where I'm going to be using React, but you could just as easily be using Angular, Vue, etc. And we're going to deploy it to Firebase and it's going to be live on the internet and you can share it with your family and friends and all this and that. So, uh, and listen, if you find this video helpful in any way, please leave a, a, a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I release videos every single week, uh, basic coding for beginners. So please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notified because um, I'm trying to increase my amount of videos that I put out uh, but so far it's once a week and if you have any special requests for videos please leave them in the comments below or if you have any follow-up questions to this video please leave them in the comments alright so let's get started so uh, basically you need to log into Firebase uh, using a Google account uh, so here's our console for Firebase, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm on Windows. I'm just going to create a basic, let me zoom in so you can see. Uh, I'm going to create a basic create React app uh, uh, project just so we have something to work with because of course you need a, a project. So I'm going to run this. Okay, it's going to run create react app and everything this takes a few minutes or you know a minute or two so I'm gonna go back to Firebase and we're gonna add a project you need to add a project so we're gonna call this test app okay continue we don't need Google Analytics for this so you know whatever that's up to you this whole process guys is only gonna take about 10 minutes to deploy it if that sometimes it takes less um, and keep in mind, you can use Angular, you can use React, you could use just straight up HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. It doesn't really matter. Um, and, and it hosted for free. So our project is ready. We're going to continue. Uh, now we need to add a web app. Okay. Actually, I don't... I don't think you need to do this, but we're going to do this. I'm going to ignore this. Also set up Firebase hosting because we're going to do all that. Okay, so we're going to register a web app. Now it gives us our Firebase config object. For this to deploy an app, we don't really need this. So I'm just, you know, this is if you're going to use Firebase things like storage, uh, the database, or uh, authentication, or one of the other many things that Firebase has. So I'm just going to go to the console. We don't need this. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to hosting. Okay, I'm going to get get started. Now this we need to do, npm install Firebase tools. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. We're going to go back and it looks like we're done. Okay, uh, so let's see. I want to just run this real quick. Whoops. Just to make sure we're good and we don't have any errors. Oh, sorry. Got a CD into test app. Okay, scroll down. I'm going to do npm start. I'm just going to run the the 
test React app on my local server, on my local computer, just to make sure it's running. Just to make sure there's no errors. There shouldn't be, but... All right, there we go. Good. Now, one... Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this down. A lot of what we're going to do today is going to be done in the terminal, right? Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, open this test app in VS Code. And I'm only going to change one thing, and this is just so you guys can see that it's a real live app that I'm setting up now. Okay, I'm going to say test app. I'm just going to add that in there. This the basic react boilerplate I'm just gonna add this text in here okay so I'm just gonna minimize VS code for now okay so we we built our app we did all the things we added Firebase or we didn't add Firebase whichever you're doing okay so we need to go back to Firebase and get this npm install Firebase tools I'm gonna to copy it again I'm going to come here and I'm going to install it and the G flag is for global meaning it'll install everywhere so you could use it everywhere. Uh, and this Firebase tools just basically allows us to, to do to deploy and to, to create uh, projects with Firebase. There's a lot of things you can do with Firebase tools but for deployment it's super super easy. So as you can see it's running, it's installing and it's installing it globally again with the G flag. Um, so that we can use it anywhere. You only install it once and then you can use it uh, on a bunch, you know, all your projects. Okay, it's going. Bear with me. All right, we're good. Now, uh, as you can see, it's installed. Great. So let's get started. First, I need to do Firebase login. So you got to log in to your Firebase. Okay. Here, and it's going to say allow Firebase, blah, blah, blah. You're going to say yes. Whoops. And then it brings you to this, you log in, uh, and you should see this, Firebase CLI login successful, you can close that, go back to our terminal, ba -ba -ba. here we go, success logged in, that's my email, don't spam me please. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need to do is Firebase init, all these commands that start with Firebase, because it's Firebase, Firebase init, I'm sorry guys. Crap. Sorry about that. I'm jumping ahead. Uh, so before you do Firebase init, we need to npm run build. We need to build out our React project. Now, if you were doing Angular, you would have to do the same thing, but for Angular. So you got to build out your app. Okay? So no big deal. And there we go. So we're good. npm run build. Now we can do Firebase init. Okay? All right, here we are at the bottom. You want to proceed? Yes. Sorry, guys. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because it's going to keep jumping down. Now, here we are at this screen. So the features we want. Now you can add things here. You can add your Firestore, your functions, storage, etc. We're going to want. Sorry, guys. It keeps jumping down. We're going to want hosting configure files for Firebase. So you use the down arrow to get to it. And then you hit the space bar to select it. You'll get the little a uh, little asterisk in there, and then hit enter. Keeps jumping down. Sorry guys, it's so annoying. All right, so it asks us use an existing project or create a new project. So we already have a project, which is this project here. Okay, I'm going to close that. Oops, get started. Next, just buzz through this. Continue to console. So now you're hosting is set up and this is actually your URL which has nothing now you haven't de we haven't deployed anything yet but this is where it'll show up and we'll come back to that uh, so we're going to use an existing project and we're going to select the project that we created sorry about that guys uh, which is test app select now it's going to ask us a series of questions what do you want to use for your public directory directory you want to use build Okay, the build folder. Okay, uh, configure as a single page app. I always say no. I mean, you can if you know for sure you're going to do a single page app, but if you want to use React Router and things like that, it's not going to be a single page app. Or, you know, if it's just a standard HTML app with different links and stuff. Uh, I usually say no, but it 
you know, if you're working on a project, it, it could depend. Now, this is a very important question. File, build index.html already exists, overwrite. You want to say no, uh, because if you say yes, then Firebase will overwrite your index.html in your build folder with a standard Firebase uh, file. And you'll have to go back and delete, and it saves over uh, your build f folder index .html and your your source uh, I'm sorry your public folder so anyway just say no okay and there you go Firebase initialization complete now one more thing to do Firebase whoops yeah I spelled that right Firebase deploy okay and it's running it's running it's running it's going through the process oh come on okay deploy complete that's it guys we're done let me just refresh here go back to our console click on our link here and there you go there's our react app with test app okay uh, this is I forget what this is no oh, same thing so this is this is your domain uh, and down here one important thing I want to point out this is your current version okay so basically Firebase stores old versions of your deploy of your uh, deployed apps so and I'll show you what I mean in, in, in just a minute but this is it it's hosted on the web you can come here it ha this is the URL that you send to your friends and family to impress them with your web development skills etc now you can also over here add custom domain and you can add you can purchase a domain on wherever GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever and add that here and then you can use that domain instead of this uh, uh, test app blah 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 whatever web app dot app okay now let's do one thing real quick that I want to just show you just just to show you how easy it is so once you have that initial that Firebase init, once you have your initial app deployed, uh, redeploying it is even easier. So I'm just going to, just for the sake of, of de demonstration, I'm going to add test app 2.0. I'm going to save it. And I'm actually going to close VS Code because we're done with that. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to run npm run build again. Okay, so it's going to run the build script. It's going to replace the index.html in the build folder and all that. It's going to build it again. Okay, we're done. Now, Firebase deploy. That's it. You don't have to do all that again. So if you made a mistake and you need to go back and change it, all you got to do after that is rebuild the app and then Firebase deploy and you're good. Deploying, deploying, deploying. Okay, deploy complete. Let's come to our app here. Let me close that. Let's refresh. Taking a while to refresh. Oh, sorry, that was the local host one. Sorry. Deploy our app. Refresh, and there we go. Test app 2.0. Simple as that. And let me show you one more thing before we go. I'm going to refresh this console in Firebase, and if you'll notice, now your current one is a new deployment and here's your the one that we just deployed a few minutes ago the one that just said test app now our new deployment is this one and you can come over here and you can delete it if necessary or whatever because i i do believe after you have so many deployments they start to charge you because it does take up space depending on the size of your app right uh that's it guys uh thank you for watching i know it's a quick video but you know, sometimes it could be a little confusing how to get started, and I hope, I hope I helped you in some way. If I did, please leave a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And also, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and take care. I'll see you. Bye.